all of you on the national conclave on internal audit now I request nathani ji mutoja kachwala ji kartik radia the speaker please take that take on the dice kartik friends i welcome all of you on this national conclave on internal audit this is the first time i could say you know after long years in the suburban side we started to have such kind of conferences in the suburban area that was the dream most of people you know I requested let's have the you know programs in suburban area you know most of the chartered accountants and the offices are accepted to in this particular suburban and they to borivali areas and most of the companies are also located over here like rand taxis and also have the headquarters in borivali so most of the you know people are requested ki let's have the started program in this suburban so this is the you know st we just trying to attempt to have you know more of more programs in suburban area and in this last year itself we had a regional conferences regional conference in 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 goregaon we had a dtrc direct tax refresher course in in kandivali so this is the another program uh, in as a, in the on national level we are having this uh, in the suburban and we'll have more such kind of program uh, as in in national conference in other to topics going to be held now i'm just waiting for the kartik uh, he is going to be a, a first speaker and we start the inaugural session before that i request each and everyone to rise uh, for the ici motto thank you i acknowledge the presence of the speaker apart from the first session speaker kati gadia mutuja kanchwala porus doctor and s ravi v raghavan ji all the three speakers all are also are here and i request each and everyone to come on for the lighting of lamps all the speakers and all the people on the dais all the speakers dr saab paras doctor ji rabi v raghavan ji
internal audit functions plays a crucial role in protecting the value of the modern business enterprises by providing auditing assurance to the board management on the effective internal controls within the business the objective of this conference to have more knowledge about the businesses risk environment and effective in the control and for that purpose we kept the subject in such a way that it cover entire things in uh, on the internal aspects we also having a panel discussion on the internal audit on the both days this is the two day conferences we have the good speakers and today also we have the speaker like kartik radia like s v raghavan ji murtaja kanchwala and more you know panel discussion moderated by anil gambhir and the next day we have the t sankar bujaf ona wala suresh punjabi from delhi and moderator porus doctor and on another, another panel session so this kind of concept which we are coming with the uh, question answer session and whatever the query going to be have will be solved by the panel speakers so this going to be a, a, a you know rather than one way you know traffic it's going to be interactive uh, you know uh, program and national conclave where we can interact uh, with the, all the speakers and panel discuss we can understand and we can our solve our query so this is the concept which we came in uh, in this particular conference uh, now i request uh, my chairman uh, wsc uh, sunil patodi ji to come and address the gathering and welcome the all of you thank you my colleague in the regional council and now elected central council member c dhiraj khandelwal honorable faculty kartik ji other faculty Murtaza, Nathani ji, Ashish, seniors and professors and friends. It is a privilege for WISC for hosting such an important conference on internal audit organized by Internal, internal Audit Standard Board of the ICAI. Now, WISC is regularly pro organizing various programs on various issues and internal audit is also such one where almost every quarter we have good program sometime two day conference sometime one day program on assurance sometime we have intensive course and that intensive course go to one week or so so our members can uh, comfortably attend this program in evening after their working hours uh, friends uh, as we know that our infrastructure at institute is shifting uh, as the com at the comfort of our members apart from we are having our own building at ici now we are in bkc we are regularly organizing program at both the place every saturday at the same time we are organizing various other program in other part of suburbs as rightly said by dhiraj that this year's region conference we kept it in goregaon and a very important annual program direct tax refreshers course that we generally have in birla mathusri so all our members we used to travel on saturday afternoon for that dtrc this time we have kept it two places one in city and one in uh, our terapan bhavan so the benefit of the trc can be taken by our members in sunday morning very near to their residence hence this program is here in kandivali and i must compliment our newly elected ccm dhiraj khandelwal for taking all efforts to bring this conference here at this particular venue and i also compliment our conveners of Borivali Kanwal East CP Study Circle for their whole hearted support for organizing and hosting this internal audit program internal audit i think 
which of course depends on all of us and all our efforts only. We do not need to run behind any regulatory authority or statutory uh, authorities. We, we may need to approach RBI authorities for bank branch audit. We need to go for cooperative registrar with cooperative audits. But this internal audit is absolutely and absolutely within us and our client. We give our full value to our clients. That is what uh, needed and we are here to share our knowledge to each other by uh, these program. Our faculties are here to give their best to us and we are in a position to uh, add our valuation value to our assignments. So uh, I wish all the best. Happy learning in two days because we have a very good list of faculties and of course two panel discussion where we will be able to interact with our panelists uh, free mindly. So I am sure these two will be a good learning experience to all of us. I wish all the best. Thank you, friends. Now I request the Deputy Convener of the Study Sector, Nathaniji, to introduce the speaker, uh, Kathi Radiji. Good morning to all. On the behalf of Boriwali Kandivali Study Circle, I welcome all the participants of this conclave. And I especially thanks uh, Sunil ji and Dhira ji who give us the opportunity to organize such a conclave in this locality. And now the speaker to whom I am introducing you, it's a, wow, a lot of degrees. Really, it's a fantastic. Kartik B. Radhya, he is a FCA, ACMA, ACS, CISA, CIA, CPA, and BCOM. So really great, great uh, achievements he has. And Kartik is currently working with Pricewaterhouse as a uh, partner in risk insurance service and the help of, uh, with, uh, he is helping the clients uh, implement risk management framework, corporate uh, governance policy framework, and risk sensitive based uh, decision making framework. In this risk context, he, he believes descriptions in one of the uh, game changing risk and opportunities that need to be dealt with. And he also believes that the description risk present to a fabulous opportunity on the other side of the coin if adequately planned, strategized, and correspondence. Today's session on description is a very important for the members in industry and CH in general to prepare for possible descriptions. Scenario and aim for uh, descriptive growth multiple for their organization or, sorry, organization or uh, clients Karthik specializes in risk management solution like enterprise risk management, internal financial control, and internal audits, effectiveness, and business process. Karthik has also worked on some of the complex risk module assignments such as capital advocacy, review, stress, testing, financial review, internal audits, effectiveness, and governance, Effectiveness review of banks and financial institution and large MNC. He has worked on internal uh, international assignments also across the geographical, including U.S., U.K., Canada, France, Germany, Netherlands, Africa, Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, or list of long. With this small introduction, I welcome Kartik ji for this first session. Please welcome the Kartik Radia with a lot of applause. And I want to uh, brief that, you know, I, I want to tell that he, st he structured this entire conference uh, uh, in such a way that, you know, the you know, entire program would be very uh, beneficial to all the members. So very thank you for, for stretching this program. I request uh, Motoja ji, please hand over the, you know, momento and welcome with the flower bouquet.
get started. Uh, I'll just, the PT, PPT is being put on. Uh, I'll just start with some of the very basics of the session that I'm, uh, you know, proposing as a topic today, which is internal audit with the proposition of business context. Now, as this topic has been configured uh, around, you know, one of the very, very important areas, which is business context. And what it really means is, you know, while Traditionally, internal audits, when it started as a function, as a discipline, as a profession, it focused a lot more into some of the transactional aspects of the business. You know, like typically the sales of the company, uh, the purchases of the company, the inventories of the company, uh, and so on. From then, when it moved into what we called it as risk-based internal audit, which is RBIA, and which is what most of us have been talking and you know, which is what uh, most of the speakers would be uh, you know, covering through during the day um, is risk-based internal audit and which is where most of us are. A very important point to be noted is where we are moving from here. And there is a very, very clear and a straight trend which is moving towards focusing on some of the very, very important business issues which are futuristic in nature and which are highly business relevant. So business issues, as I'm saying, which are very business critical, business relevant, and which are of the future oriented. And I'll give you a context there. Uh, you know, some of the, let's say, just imagine some of the things which have happened in the recent past. You know, when I very specifically say this, uh, something around, you know, disruptions of the businesses and what internal audit could have played as a role. And that's where business context lies. We have seen some of the local taxi companies or cabbing companies, right? We have seen uh, you know, some of the local companies which provided air conditioning, transportation, and, and cabbing service from one place to the other. And you just went out to book over the phone, and you, get, you got cabs, and you know, the business really flourished because you had a convenience of calling you know, a particular company through a call, and you know which driver has taken you from one place to the other. And it provided you a safe transportation. You know that you know, if you have lost anything in the car, you'll be able to get it back. So that's a safe transportation. If you look at what has happened after the advent of Uber, after the advent of Ola, for example, where you have got, where you have got, companies which have come as technology e-commerce companies, from the Western world and has taken away the entire business. So, for example, if you have to go, and I'm sure all of us are familiar with this example, and because which I'm taking this example, if you have to go from, from here to somewhere today, it is very, very simple and easy, convenient and faster, to just book a cab through your mobile application. You just have to put, in fact, you don't even have to put where you are, you have to just put your destination, and it will take you, right? Now, imagine if you were an internal auditor of some of the local cabbing companies. And if you are clearly noticing this trend based on your global knowledge, as an internal auditor, it would have become very, very important to tell the company that, look, some of these trends are coming. And that is a futuristic business issue. What are you doing about it? So this is one example of focusing on the, on the business context. That means you talk about the business issues. Now, how would, you, how would you be able to tell the company or point out that this is what is coming? Now, if you look at, for example, some of the large companies like Meru or TapCab or so many others, it was very simple for them to know that this is coming, right? And it was just about launching an app. Because all of this uses the Google platform. All of this uses the GPS platform, which is available in the, in the telecom service provider. It was just important to launch an app. And to be very honest with you, with the kind of developers that we have got in India and elsewhere, it is very simple to launch an app within two months. So if that was the case, why was this not done? And has the internal auditor pointed this out? The answer to this is, 
maybe that business is not aware about what is happening in the West. 